What does the HPF button do on my audio mixer? When should I use it? When should I not use it? I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative, and we put this video together to help you answer those questions. Now, before we get started, if you are looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have links down in the description below where you can find the microphone, the stand, the mixer, and the headphones at a variety of online retailers to make sure that you're getting the best price possible. So what is the HPF button? HPF stands for high pass filter. It's also known as a low cut or a low cut filter, but they all essentially do the same thing. They're typically located at the top of each channel strip that has a microphone input. They're not as common above line level inputs, and we'll talk about that in a minute as to why that is, but you'll find it on most analog mixers and definitely in digital mixers and digital consoles as well. So what does a high pass filter do? You can see here that it says HPF, then it has the button Button, then it says 80 hertz. A high pass filter will roll off the low end of your input source. In this video, that would be a microphone, starting at 80 hertz. A high pass filter will commonly roll off somewhere between 80 hertz, 100 hertz, or 120 hertz, but it's basically doing the same thing. The purpose of this is to remove the mud from your input source. There aren't a lot of really helpful frequencies that contribute to my voice represented below 80 hertz. So by clicking this on, we take it out of the subwoofer, we clean up the mix a little bit, and we let the microphone focus on the frequencies that will help add to clarity and intelligibility, but there's not really a whole lot of that below 80 hertz. So when do I recommend using the high pass filter? There's a reason that this is commonly at the top of each channel strip. It is so common that they give you a button instead of making you turn down the knob that basically does the same thing. I recommend doing the high pass filter on any input source that isn't represented in a subwoofer. So for me, I would use it on microphones, guitars, acoustic guitars, horns, pretty much anything that you find in the studio, I would high pass just because it does clean it up. I also do recommend this for live sound as well as the home studio. It does the same thing for both. It really does clean up the mix. So when would I not use the high pass filter? I wouldn't use the high pass filter on a line level input if I'm playing like music from my phone or something like that because it does have a kick drum and bass guitar integrated into that song. I wouldn't use it on a bass guitar kick drum. I wouldn't use it on a like low synth or anything like that. Pianos are questionable depending how much presence you want. If a piano is a solo instrument at a live performance or on a record, then I wouldn't high pass it. But if it's in a mix with a whole other band, then I would high pass it because there's other instruments that need those frequencies down in the lower range. So that's my kind of guide as to when you would or wouldn't use it. But I highly do encourage you to play around with it. Don't be scared to use it. Try your input sources with and without the high pass filter to see which you like better. Now we're gonna do a quick demo of it just so you can hear it on my voice. So far in this video, we have not had a high pass filter turned on. Put my headphones on so I can hear it. Turn them up so I can hear it. So right now we don't have the high pass filter turned on and now I'm gonna turn it on. So now we've turned on the high pass filter. You could expect to hear a little less low end below 80 hertz. Again, like I said, there probably wasn't a whole lot of frequency response from this microphone and my voice below 80 hertz. So you should just notice an ever slight cleanup, just an ounce more clarity, a little less mud on my voice. You would notice this a lot more if you tried to high pass something like a kick drum or a bass guitar, but the note, you should still be able to notice it on my voice as well. If you do have any questions about something that we didn't cover in this video, if there's more information that you were expecting, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Again, if you are looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have links down in the description below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <music>